This video takes a look at IPEX analytics reports. Reports allow us to generate historical information. Analytic reports can be found under the reporting menu item. There are a lot of different reports in analytics. Extension reports. Summaries and detail the calls handled by users of the system. DDI reports. The number of calls and experience offered. Performance reports. How well the users have handled the callers. Group reports. Analysis of calls handled by a team of users. Agent reports. How team members have handled their group calls. Time and date reports. Analysis of call distribution and performance over time to help with resourcing throughout the day or based on information from a larger time period. Customer reports. Summary and individual call information for customers. Also here, you can generate call summary by area code. Useful, for example, if you want to measure a local marketing campaign. Analytics reports have a standardized typical format. Key performance indicators or KPI information is at the top of the report. Chart information showing the report information in an easy to use graphical form is next. Lastly, table data, the raw data feeding the other two sections as a data table. Sometimes the report can be too large for a screen. You can obviously scroll to a specific section or zoom out of the web page to see more sections at once. Alternatively, each section can be hidden and made visible again with the minus icon the section title. Data table and reports can be downloaded as an Excel file directly from the report or added to a schedule to be sent to recipients at the end of the day or other frequency as defined when the schedule is created. You can download the whole report, including KPI and charts as a PDF file using the camera. When we first click onto a report, it will show the information for today for all calls. For example, if this is the extension report, the report is showing information for all calls handled by users. We can tell the report to build itself for historical data and limit the calls included in the report using filters. At the top of the report above the KPIs is the filter bar. It shows the data range the report covers. And at the far right is the plus icon that opens the filter area. Like the other area this becomes a minus sign so we can close the filter area after we are done. Each report has different elements that it can be filtered on. All reports have the date or date time filter. This lets you adjust the days and the time or day included in the report. There are preset options such as yesterday for often used relative data ranges. But you can also specify a custom date range using custom range. In the custom range, you can adjust the time if you want to exclude calls that originate outside of opening hours, for example. To select a date, use the left arrow key to the left of the month name to move the left date panel to the earliest month and select the day. Then use the other arrows to move the right hand pane to the month of the last day to be reported. This allows you to set a date range larger than the two months displayed. To select a single day, Click the day twice to set a start and end date. When you have finished setting up the filter, press apply to have the new figures calculated and displayed. You can use the minus sign in the filter header to close the filter area. If this is a report you will use frequently, you can add the report with filter to your favorites bar to quickly regenerate or report with a specific filter. Extension, DDI and customer reports come in a summary and detailed version. 